about ready to go at it here. The Sea Captains looking to get revenge here on home ice today. Leaning in to take the draw quickly there is Bain and the ref drops the puck. We're underway. We play 20 minutes of hockey here in the NH3AL. Did I say that right? NH3AL? I always mix that up. <laughs> yeah, NA3AL. Anyway, it confuses the bro. A lot of letters and numbers, ladies and gentlemen. I can never work at the DMV. Puck sent in on the net. Minder gobbled up there by McGuire. McGuire holds on. You see Danbury wearing their orange sweaters. It says Danbury across the chest diagonally. It's in print so young people can read it. Scriptive gives them a little bit of trouble. Gray and black trim, black shorts, orange socks with gray and black trim. They're looking very sharp to Danbury Hattrick. Rabbit on the shoulder. Very sweet sweater. It's a relatively new organization as well. I think about four or five years old. Very nice guys down in Danbury. Herman and the crew down there, good guys. Nice arena. A very good organization. And the sea captains wearing their white sweaters with red and blue trim, ladies and gentlemen, under the guidance of Coach Kevin Cunningham. Laying a quick shot go, doesn't get through. So second place versus third place here today. The final affair before, I think before the Christmas break. Final home game, that's for sure. I believe. Wow, I get so confused. Here's Hayden now. Hayden having a fantastic campaign for the sea captains as they can't get it out. Kept in by Danbury. Chasing it now behind the net. There's Felidi. Felidi, number 44, wearing Reggie Jackson's old number. Danbury trying to come away with it there. Stepping in front. Couldn't collide. Couldn't connect, I mean. Now the puck bounces but doesn't get out to center. A nice job there is Hayden digging and mucking over to help out there is Jamison Bain. Sea captains have three guys over there. Danbury had two, so you do the math. As the sea captains come away with it. Now the sea captains backtracking their own zone. Moran reaching to deflect that puck out of harm's way. Cleared but not out. Kept in there by the hat tricks. Martufi. Martufi sending it behind the net. Nice job there by Moran with a little misdirection. Good edge work there. Cross ice pass goes awry there, and the Jackets go back to get it. The hat tricks, excuse me, not the Jackets, letting the quick shot go. That went off the outside clavicle of the net miners. Moran keeps it in. Moran lets one go. Attempting at the deflection there on the way in was Hamilton. But the net minder, McGuire, gobbled it up like a biscuit on Thanksgiving. And now we're headed towards Christmas Eve, ladies and gentlemen, so it might be a lobster tail on Thanksgiving, on Christmas Eve, excuse me. One of the people like myself who celebrate the seven fishes. McGuire from Ridgefield, Connecticut. Hey, that's where my daughter's playing there on Sunday. Behind the net it goes now as the sea captains win the draw on it. There's Makarenko. Sava Makarenko, number 10 in your scorecard. Hounded there by a couple of hat tricks. And coming over quickly to get it there, Tamburo. Tamburo sending it hard around. Hat tricks looking to come out of their own zone. They do. Cleanly away comes Naffy. Naffy stepping to the outside. Sent it down low on it there is Christian. Christian tried to get it back in front. Naffy over to help out. Radichenko leads the team with 10 goals and 15 assists, 25 points from the point from the, as a defenseman. Got to like that. Wearing Darius Kasparaitis' old number 11, too. That pleases the broadcaster. Sent all the way down. The ref waves it off. No icing as the ref wants to get to the buffet. On the backhand, letting the shot go. And we're right across the street from the a great buffet over at Mohegan Sun. There's a chance now in front. Steered aside there by McGuire. Nice job by McGuire to keep the flipper low. Keeping it in, Smith. Smith lets the shot go. Smith got the flow coming out of the back of the helmet. That pleases the broadcaster. So important for the youth of today to have cabbage and flow, as they call it, coming out the back of the helmet. Joachim comes out to play it there. Right on the tape there for Begish. Begish couldn't get it out, though. Kept in. Here's Beagle now. Beagle tried to get it in front. A nice play there by Smith to dislodge him of the puck. And Smith, one hand on the stick, takes it out to center. Smith got to the blue line, sent it in. A nice rush and a nice play there by Darrell Smith. A big hit there behind the play. Smith finishes off the check as well. Real good shift there for Darrell. And his other brother, Darrell. Sending it in now, going to get it. That's Tamburo. Tamburo sends it hard around. The hat tricks try to come away to center. That hit Kinahan on the way out, so no icing. And chasing it down quickly now, McManus. Here's McManus now. McManus got it out to center. Waiting there was Judge. Judge couldn't get it back in. Here come the sea captains now. Essing. Essing leading the sea captains in scoring. Number 19 in your scorecard with 22 points, 9 goals, 13 assists. Leading goal scorer is Jack Kinahan. He's got 12 on the season. He can really sniper at Kinahan. He's a power play specialist. At least it seems like he scores on the power play a lot as far as I know, as far as you know, as far as anybody knows. Well, if you say it with confidence, ladies and gentlemen, if you say something enough times, someone will believe you. A fantastic quote by a terrible man. Here comes Kinahan now. Kinahan down the left wing. Kinahan 
Rubbed out there by Drew, True, excuse me. Sent in by Hayden. Sea captains regain the blue line. Delayed offsides is in effect. Thank the maker. The youth hockey, it's an automatic whistle and it's grueling. Corkin now, Pavel Corkin sending it in. Chance broken up nicely there by Hayden as he got just enough of it to break up that play. Another good play by Tim Hayden, ladies and gentlemen. Countless this season he's made for Coach Cunningham and the Sea Captains. Just a fantastic two way defenseman. Really admire his game. Back the other way now. Down the left wing, Bain. Bain taken away there by Corkin. A very fast paced opening stands. They were five minutes in already. As the Sea Captains looking to go defense to offense, protecting the puck there, Holton. Holton got it in with one hand behind the net. In on the four check there is Bain. Now Holton following up with some puck pressure as Dan Berry sends it away to center. On it there is Borms. Camden Borms turns on his forehand. And the Sea Captains get it out to center. Barely, but he got out there. Artufi sending it in. He absorbs a big hit there by Holton. The captain's trying to get it out now. Hattrick's trying to keep it in. That's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen, as Thunderlips tried to explain to Rocky. If they raised a lot of money more, and Bob Hope would have been proud. On it now is Moran. Moran behind the net. Nice job again, Moran. Boy, the edge is really working sharply here for Moran tonight. He looks really sharp. A couple of misdirection plays. That's his second one there. It certainly fooled the broadcaster. It may have even fooled some people on the ice. Here's Smith. Smith, nice job to stay on side. Smith. Thought he had somebody there for the drop pass. Couldn't connect a two-on-one now. Back the other way for Danbury sliding it over. Martufi just out of his reach. Martufi blindly on the backhand. Ends up on the stick, letting the shot go. That was Tambor. No, excuse me, that was, that was Foncher. Nice pass there. Back for Foncher again now. Foncher lets it go. A good job to come out and block the shot. Bouncing puck dangerously. Came the Grand Cacker. Grand Acker, excuse me. Couldn't handle the bouncing puck. Kept in at the blue line. No, they don't get it out. Radachenko, a big hit there behind the play. Looks like it's going to be a delayed penalty coming up here to Hamilton. Hamilton, two minutes for hooking is the call. So 13 minutes and 41 seconds left to go here in the affair. Hamilton heads over to the sin bin. Two minutes for hooking. He goes by himself, and he feels shame, as you all know. All right, so the penalty kill. Goes to work here for the Sea Captains. The eighth-ranked penalty kill in the league, operating at 87%. Against the 12th-ranked power play, operating at 80%. No, the set, excuse me, a seventh-ranked power play. I apologize. Operating at 80%. Yeah, right. Operating at 34%. 80% would certainly not be seventh place. Here's Danbury now winning the faceoff, setting up along the board, sliding it across a little bit of room, walking in, pulling the trigger was true. That went high on the glove side, but Danbury tracks it down, got it back now. Good quick passing here on the power play as they work it around the horn. Out for Radachenko. Radachenko sliding it over. Walking in. Nice toe drag. Couldn't step around the second defenseman there, Winicki. Winicki also has 25 points. He's got 10 goals. Danbury still maintaining possession, keeping it in the zone. A minute and a half left to go on the man advantage. See captains staying in their box as Danbury worked it down low. Deflected wide of Joachim getting to it to Hayden. He sings it all around and all the way down. No icing if you're shorthanded, ladies and gentlemen, also unlike youth hockey. Also like to say thank the maker for that. Youth hockey, if you're shorthanded and you ice the puck, still icing even if you're down five on three. Yeah, I know. There's Danbury now in their bright orange sweaters. A big hit there as Bain laid the lumber into him. Cleared but not out. Kept in by the hat tricks. A minute to go now on the power play. Seems like it's been a long one. Hat tricks looking to set up shop, source of the pass. Back to the blue line, Radachenko. Radachenko starting to go true, letting the shot go, getting the right flipper on it. A nice save there. As Andrew Yoakum looking sharp and nearly going. Cleared and not out, though. Kept in by the hat tricks. Hat tricks have had a lot of offensive zone time here on the power play. Penalty killers for the sea captains might be getting a little tired. I'm sure they would like nothing more than Yoakum to cover it or icing, get some fresh legs out there. There's Bear now. Bear lets the man go down to the point, covered there by Loftus. Danbury cycling down low. Got a man cutting to the back door. Seabun one time and they score. A beautiful salsa pass across. Cutting to the cooker and burying the biscuit. The pass by Winicky. And I believe it was number four. Yes, it was, ladies and gentlemen. Cooper Betancourt got to the cooker, got to the back door. You saw it developing. And Betancourt, just like that, ladies and gentlemen. 
Makes it one to nothing for Danbury on the power play. With 11 minutes and 53 seconds left, it felt like Danbury was on the power play forever there. As they won the initial faceoff and puck only came out once. Good puck movement, cutting to the Cooker Betancourt. He buries the biscuit and Danbury takes a quick lead now walking in, but yes, letting the shot go. That's waffled aside by McGuire. So we see captains down one to nothing early. Well, not early on, halfway through the first stanza just about now, Beagle. Beagle sidestepping the defense there, walking in, looking to pull the trigger. That was Seth Beagle, the captain of the Hattricks. Showing nice hands there down low. Again, keeping the puck in, letting the wrist shot go. That one's waffled aside by Yoakum. A nice save there. As the Hattricks looking to pick up the pace here. Here's Corkin now. Pavel Corkin slides it across. Fake shot there by Betancourt. Betancourt's already got one today. On it there is Borms. Borms. Trying to get the puck out, back the other way now. Here comes Bagesh. Bagesh up for Essing. Essing down the left wing, back for Bagesh to flex it in front. Gently rolled to the net, Miner McGuire. Good puck movement there, back and forth. By the sea captains, the old give and go. Behind the net now, trying to set up. Get it out in front was Bagesh, and that just missed as they got it in front. Going just right over the crossbars, cutting to the cooker there was Kinahan. Kinahan now trying to get to it. Taken away there by Nafi. Nafi sending it up the boards and sent all the way out. Not far enough for icing. So tracking it down there is Hayden. Hayden quickly up for Essing, trying to catch the hat tricks. Inner player change, but they get off the bench and get back on. Guy sends it in there for the sea captains. He'll go in on the four check. Hat tricks. Get it out the center, waiting for it. There's Hayden. Hayden sending it back in now on the four check. Quickly is Bear. And Guy. That one was sent around by the Hatcher. Thought that might have been a hand pass. Chipped out. And they come quickly now for Liddy. Liddy, excuse me, for Liddy. Got it away from him there. Yokum came out to play it. Bodies go flying. As Makarenko getting back up to his feet. Hayden trying to corral it there. He protects the puck along the roads. And Makarenko chops it out to center. Tim Burrow slides the puck over. Nice job by Guy to dislodge it for Makarenko. Makarenko trying to get back to it. Tim Burrow did a nice job there. Taking the body, taking the puck. Comes out to center, Loftus lays the lumber into him there. A nice job of back checking there. As bodies collide into the board, a good job there by Bear. Lifting the stick and preventing the hat tricks from getting the puck. Now the hat tricks looks like they may have iced it here, but Yoakum came out to play it, so no icing. Maybe it was deflected on the way in, I missed that. I miss a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not a very observant person. I was only a nurse for 22 years. Down the right wing, <laughs> nurses, supposed, nurses are supposed to be very observant. I was a good nurse, though. I never, I think I ever got written up for in my life was my handwriting. I literally had to write in a care plan that I would, I would write in print. That was before, you know, electronic documentation. We used to write everything in charts. And, oh, that was so much fun. I got written up for handwriting multiple times. Back the other way now. Pilates sliding it across, letting the quick shot go. Nice job there by Yoakum Square to the shooter. That was number 10, Dominic Pol Poelitis, po excuse me. He's from West Simsbury, Connecticut. So three points on the season. The International Skating Center up at Simsbury. They're now the home of the Connecticut Whale. The ladies Professional Hockey Federation, whatever they're calling themselves these days. Back to the blue line. Well, until they let the girls check, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's never going to work. You can call me whatever you like, but until they let the girls hit. I mean, I told the commissioner of the league. I actually spoke with her. I said, number one, you should let the girls sit. I said, number two, you really want to make money, let the girls fight. She called me a variety of adjectives. I said, well, Ronda Rousey wasn't bad for business, man. It has nothing to do with that. It just has to do with do you want to make money or not. But that's another podcast for another time. I'd let the girls fight. That's just me. Not any sort of degrading thing. Just it would sell. I like watching guys fight. I like watching girls fight. I like watching people fight. I like boxing. Nothing wrong with that. In my opinion, especially if it sells tickets. What do you care? I digress. Here come the hat tricks now, down the right wing. Third event with the drop pass, cutting in front now on the backhand. Got it back in front, a big stop by Yoakum, trying to find it through traffic. He keeps the right flipper down, still loose. Finally, the whistle comes. There's a little bit of a scrum developing now behind the net. Looked like Donzella there tried to apply the stunner. And perhaps may have been successful with it with 8-10 left. A nice stop by Yoakum. As he made a couple of saves and then got the save on the rebound. Eight minutes, ten seconds left to go here in the opening stanza. The road team, the Hattricks, 
Lead it one to nothing, a power play goal by Cooper Betancourt. Betancourt from Mayo Pack, New York. I thought it was his first goal of the year. All right, congratulations, Cooper. Always good to get your first one. And on the power play to boot. There he is again. The aforementioned Mr. Betancourt. Betancourt behind the net now on the backhand. Betancourt under a little bit of duress. Causing the turnover, nice job there by Goodman on the forecheck. Patrick's trying to break out down the right wing. A drop pass dangerously there. As Winicki just dropped it back in his own zone. I'm sure he's getting the stink eye from the goaltender McGuire right now. As a former third string backup net miner for University of Stony Brook Patriots and Seawolves, ladies and gentlemen. 1993 to 1995, conclusive. I was never pleased if my forward had a drop pass at the blue line. But perhaps McGuire is a much more understanding netminder than I was back in the day. But times have changed, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's more friendly now than we used to, we used to be. You know, everybody used to be so much more grumpier. Everybody says social media is bad. Social media is, I think social media has made people a lot more friendly. Call me crazy. Back to the blue line. Letting the shot go doesn't get through. I feel like you're more on like... You have to be fake more often with social media because you're on social media all the time. Everybody knows what you're doing. Like people know I'm here calling this game. And it feels like it. It, it makes people present themselves as they think they want to be presented more often because they know that everybody's watching everything. So you're putting your best foot forward. Like you're constantly on an interview. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Time will tell. I don't think uh, social media and the phones and all that are as nearly as bad as people make it out to be. It's just change. People said, you know, the newspaper was a bad thing. The TV was a bad thing. On it now is Hayden. Hayden sending it hard around for Bagesh. Bagesh trying to go cross ice, pouring it down. Kinahan to himself. Kinahan chipping it ahead now. To see Catholics can get to it. They got a two-on-one down low. Behind the net now, circling, looking, looking, eyes up, heads up, back to the blue line, letting the shot go, Smith. It trickled behind the net, minder, but true. Got it out of the way. Winding, shooting, letting the Howitzer go. There was Hayden. A nice stop by Maguire. See, Captain's walking off the boards, a little bit of room, pulling the trigger. Maguire with the save. The rebound, they score. Brian Essing buries the biscuit on the rebound. And the sea captains have tied the score one to one. The cameraman is fired up, ladies and gentlemen, and rightfully so. With 6.42 left to go. The sea captains were buzzing there on that shift. They got it to the cooker. McGuire made the save. Aiden released the Howitzer from the blue line. And getting to it, getting to the cooker, getting to the rebound for his 10th goal of the season, his 23rd point of the campaign, Brian Essing. Makes it a one-to-one -one score with just under seven minutes. Well, 6.40 to go. I wouldn't call it just under. Slightly under. Got it out in front now. Dangerously to see Catholic looking to gain the lead. Back to the blue line. Hayden walking the line. Let's the shot go deflected out high. That takes a big bounce off the boards. The net comes off its protective moorings. Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah, it's on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody would have called us. <laughs> You would think. All right, so the faceoff coming deep in the hat trick zone as the net was knocked off its protective moorings accidentally on purpose by accident by the net miner. A goalie would never knock the net off the moorings on purpose. A nice waffle save. The rebound. A big stop there. McGuire behind him. They score. Back to back. Belly to belly goals by big Brian Essing. As he got behind the goaltender, the puck got behind the goaltender. He buries the biscuit there. Well, that's a pretty good shift for number 19. He hopped over the boards. His team was down one to nothing. He's gonna hop back and get himself a drink of water and his team up two to one, maybe even more as he stays out there. Essing with his second goal of the shift, ladies and gentlemen, with six minutes and 20 seconds left to go here. Second goal of the afternoon, Essing again just went to the cooker, which is what you wanna teach. Young ladies and lads to do, the minute that they put the skates on, you take them to the crease when they're skating around with the little seal thing that holds everybody up that I still use from time to time, but that's not important right now. You take them to the crease, you take them to the painted area, you say, this is the cooker, this is where you got to get to. I want to see you get to the cooker, get to the cooker, get to the cooker, ladies and gentlemen, on the backhand. That just went wide. That's Felidi. 
Let the shot go. Steer the side there by Yoakum. That puck just seemed to die there right next to Yoakum as he swats at it with the old big paddle. Into the corner now. Turning on it is Moran. Moran left it for Loftus. Loftus tape to tape and away comes Guy now. Guy stepping to the outside over the red line. Dumping it in. Smart play. Always like to get the puck behind the other team's goal line. Make them have to come 200 feet. A lot of points of error there when the other team's got to go 200 feet as they walk off with it. Makarenko found it. Makarenko tried to pull the trigger a second time. Got it back to himself. Slid it over. Letting the shot go. That just missed. What a job by Makarenko to get the puck to himself not once but twice. Talk about not giving up on the play, ladies and gentlemen. Sava Makarenko absolutely determined there. Sent out to center. A nice poke check there in the neutral zone by Borms. Sent behind that left from Massingill. Massingill. All along the board, sending it back out. The hat trick's there with five minutes left to go. Here in the opening stanza, two goals by Essing. And the sea captains lead it two to one. <coughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. We need a cough button. Just can't shake this cold. I've had it for weeks. Hat tricks trying to come out of their own zone. Now we see the four check getting to work here. I feel the sea captains are at their best when their four check is tenacious and. Makes the other organization have to expend a lot of energy just to get to the red line. When their four check is on, ladies and gentlemen, their game is on. When their game is on, and that pleases the broadcaster. When the broadcaster is happy, then you're happy at home. This happiness is contagious, ladies and gentlemen, and it all starts with four checking, back checking, and a variety of other checkings. Can cause a lot of happiness for us all to have here. And see Captain Land. Bouncing puck kept in by the hat tricks. Nice little tic-tac-toe passing. Tried to pull the trigger. It got left behind. A three-car pileup behind the play. Could lead to an odd man rush here for the sea captains. As Peluso sending it in. On it there quickly now. Corkin. Corkin. Through the neutral zone. Pablo Corkin tape to tape pass there. Winicky. Winicky down the right wing. Winicky trying to step to the outside, protecting the puck. Winicky still with it. Winicky circumnavigating now, looking like Magellan. Leaving the puck there, Betancourt, Betancourt's got one today, Betancourt. Nice back pass for Winicky, a good job of puck pressure there by Goodman. Goodman, I think, has had himself a very good period. Chipped ahead now, back the other way quickly, Donzella. Donzella got over the blue line, dumps it in. There's Goodman in on the forecheck. Goodman, bodies collide there in the corner. Chance in front there, 316. Left to go, here's a chance now for Danbury. Back the other way, Beagle. Beagle at the goal line, Beagle trying to cut to the cooker, swiped away there. A nice play by Smith. Boy, Smith has had himself a fantastic stanza. Dare I say the best stanza I've seen him have while I've been broadcasting. Good defenseman getting better. I like to see the young lads get better and better as the season progresses. Daryl Smith in this broadcast is humble, humble opinion having his best effort thus far. I like what I'm seeing from him. I like the aggressiveness. I like the confidence. Not hesitating. Here comes Dan Barry now with 2.43 to go. Sending it hard around. Holton trying to get to it. Danbury kept it in, letting the shot go. Steered aside by Yoakum. Takes a weird bounce off the boards. Danbury get to, getting to it there. Gotta put the verb in its proper tense, I think. And here comes Holton now. As the sea captains go for a player change, Holton all alone waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Let the backhander go. On it there is Essing. Essing looking for the hat trick, ladies and gentlemen. If you can get a hat trick against the hat tricks, I guess that would be pretty cool. <clears throat> As I always like to say during youth hockey, if you get a hat trick, you get to pick what flavor ice cream you get on the way home. I think it still applies at this level. Here's Essing now. Essing. Oh, he was thinking about the mint chocolate chip, but it turned out to be cookies and cream. 203 left to go here. 203 left to go. In the opening stands, a two to one, the sea captain's leading it. You see number 19 leaning in to take the draw, wearing Brian Trottier's old number. That pleases the broadcaster. You might say Joe Sackick. Some of you may say Stevie Y or Big Joe Thornton. All war number 19 because of Brian Trottier. A quick chance in front. It's pushed aside there by Kinahan. Behind the net it goes now. Hat tricks. Do get out to the neutral zone. A three on two if they hurry. That one hopped over the stick. On it there, Felitti. A nice job there by Moran to finish the check. A minute and a half to go. Behind the net dangerously there. Nice job by Massingill there. Harnessing his inner Diego Maradona as he kicked it ahead forward. I believe Argentina advanced to the finals. Waiting to see, I think, the winner of France and Morocco. A nice defensive play there. By Radachinko as he let the puck go and took the body. That's good defense right there. I'd like to show that play to my daughter. She's a defense lady. 
Sent in, cross corner dump in there by Hayden. He absorbs the big hit. Matrix come away now. Here comes Felitti. Felitti stepping to the outside, hounded there by Guy. Guy got a big chunk of Felitti looking like Thornton Mellon with the triple Lindy there off the, the springboard. Trying to sell it. He's not on my roster, he's on my substitute roster. I don't have it with me, it's in the car. I'll get it to you after the match. Matrix sends it away to center. Borms knocks it down. Borms chip it ahead. Here's Makarenko. Makarenko over the blue line, letting the shot go wobble to side. Getting to a tough angle shot, deflected on the way in. As Guy was cutting to the cooker there, a nice shot there by Bear. Read like a fine piece of literature there by Hayden. Hayden chips it in. In on the four check quickly now with 26 seconds to go. Makarenko. Makarenko brought a lot of energy here. During the opening stanza, Bear behind the net. Just slid off his stick. He tracks it down, got it back to the blue line. Kept in nicely there. Dangerously there, here come the Hattricks with a chance now back the other way. Down the right wing, cutting to the inside, serpentining like a snake in the desert, letting the shot go. Can of corn there for the net miner, Andrew Yokerman, with six seconds left to go here. In the opening stanza, we get a whistle. Two to one is the score. Hattricks leading the affair, a real good one. We knew it was going to be a good one. These are two good teams, ladies and gentlemen. And unlike Pacquiao and Mayweather, these two have not disappointed. So a big face-off here with just six seconds left. Don't want to give the Hattricks another opportunity. Hattricks would love to get another opportunity. They do win the draw on the backhand, trying to get back to the forehand. Puck in the corner. See captains wisely just keep it there. There's the buzzer, ladies and gentlemen. Drop the puck. How about Alexander Ovechkin, 800th goal last night, of course, on the Hattrick. I know, he was saying for a long time, no chance he catches Gretzky, no chance he catches Gretzky. I don't know. <laughs> and rumor has it, too. He has requested a trade from the Washington Capitals. Hopefully lose on the phone. I'd love to see the grade eight on Long Island. I'll tell you that. Where do I sign? I don't know what you'd have to do to get Ovechkin away from the Capitals. Or how you'd have to work out the salary cap. He's got quite the salary as well. Deservedly so. Don't get me wrong. So whatever you got to do, Lou, make that phone call. He'll end up on the Rangers. They're all great players that I love end up on the Rangers. Messier, Lindros, Gretzky. Yeah, it'll be a Rangers. Him and Kane will come over and to the trade deadline. I'll be so happy. And we'll get some <laughs> defenseman that's slotted to be in the fifth or sixth spot, perhaps, for a third round pick. Steered aside by Maguire. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> the life of an Islander fan, ladies and gentlemen. You get what you get. Hello. Still not playing bad, did well last night. Here's a chance now in front, lost to the Bruins in shootouts, which is not hockey anyway. And kept in at the blue line, a nice job by Bain to keep it in. The second stanza just nicely underway. Between the Hattricks, third place Hattricks and the second place Sea Captains. Two good teams going at it. 14-6-2 the Sea Captains, 13-9-2 the Hattricks. So two teams well above the 500 mark. And going at it here today for your entertainment purposes at home. Peluso. Sending it hard around, Hamilton first on it there. Hamilton just touched it up. Nice soft play there by Hamilton to make sure that it got out. He got it up to Donzella. Sent in behind the net on there, Betancourt. Betancourt leaves it for his defense partner. A little bit of trouble in the corner, trying to come away with it, going down to get it. Couldn't keep it in, no. As it bounces away to center, here's Donzella now. Donzella over the blue line, tried to hit the trailer, cutting through, did get it there. As Hamilton was cutting through, but couldn't corral the puck. Kept in nicely there by Massigill. Massigill letting the shot go in front. They jab at it. Hamilton poking at it there a little bit after the whistle on Maguire. The defenseman Cooper Betancourt took exception to it. Hamilton said, hey, man, it's nothing personal. Just doing my job. And Betancourt saying, I didn't say it was personal. I'm just doing my job. I don't know if that's what they said, ladies. I don't speak forward to defenseman. I'm an old goalie. I know Maguire probably said, I don't care what either of you guys say. I have my job is to stop the puck. That's what a goaltender would say, ladies and gentlemen. I speak goaltender very fluently. English is actually my second language. Massingill, smart play there. Just nothing going on. Just dump it in the corner and get it behind the other team's net. That's good, smart hockey right there. He had a quick shot on goal because of the play. They won the faceoff. He was under the rest. The puck was in, in, you know, in on his hands. He wasn't going to do much with it. And rather than trying to do too much, rather than going off a, a hat-trick leg and back the other way on a two-on-one, just calmly, coolly, collectively dumped it into the corner. They got a shot on goal for it from Moran. Those are the little things, ladies and gentlemen, that really please the broadcaster. They don't show up in the scorecard or the sabermetrics or the cybermetrics. And they may have ex escaped you at home if you don't have exactly the, you know, the well-trained eye of an old third-string backup netminder like myself. But that's why I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fantastic play by Messingill. 
You just can't let it go unnoticed. Just not going to do it. Radachenko now. Sending it out. The hat trick. Send it away to center. Moran. Moran on his horse there. Moran quickly on the forehand. Got it back out over the blue line. That's all you got to do with that situation. And he did. Here's Hamilton now. Hamilton under the rest there. Felitti in on the forecheck. Hamilton did a nice job to get it out to center. Getting a nice close look at these Danbury jerseys. They are sharp. I like them a lot. Love the logo. Like the colors. Both two, two real nice sharp sweaters out there today. Danbury sends it back in. Delayed offsides. They regain the blue line. Moran behind his own net now. Calmly for Massingill. Massingill, a little too hot to handle, a little too cold to hold. Goes back to get it, though. And he sends it hard around. Keeping it into the blue line there was Naffy. Got it down low. Trying to run the gauntlet here. Granaka. Granaka lost the handle on it. Moran now. Moran just sends it out to center, but Danbury... Regains possession. They send it back in hard around there by Eric Poncher. Eric E R Y K. That's a cool way to spell Eric. I like that. Eric Poncher now pinching in against Hamilton. Poncher wins the puck. Poncher turning, wheeling, letting the shot go. That goes off Donzala. Back the other way now. Three on two quickly. Here come the sea captains. On sides. Donzala letting the shot go. Went off the heel of his stick there. Not much on it. Matrix trying to get the puck out. Radachinko. Now they come away with it through center ice. Christian sidestepping the first hit. Christian protecting the puck. Got it in. Steered aside by Yoakum. On it there's the captain Beagle. Beagle run into there by Loftus. Loftus number 27 in your scorecard. Good strong defenseman for Coach Cunningham. Sent behind the net giving chase there is Smith. Smith couldn't catch up to it as it goes all the way around. Smith aggressively there on the forecheck causes the turnover. Another good play there by Darrell Smith here today, ladies and gentlemen. Not sure what he had in his porridge this morning, but please pull me a bowl of that. He's on his horse for checking and now on his horse to get back. Smith bringing a lot of energy and tenacity. A penalty coming up here against the sea captains. We'll see. I thought they touched it up. Now they do. So tripping is the call from the official Lemieux. Let's see who it's on here. Danbury already one for one on the power play. So this is their second power play of the afternoon. Tripping is the call there. Face off deep in the Norwich zone to start off the power play for the hat tricks. Leaning in to take it there is true. A clean face off win. Radachenko, this is how they started the last power play. We're Nikki now down the left wing, trying to get it back to the blue line. Radachenko. Sent it down low. Here's Winicky. Winicky along the boards. Winicky trying to get it in front and sent all the way down. Nice job there by the sea captains to win that battle. As the netminder Maguire going out for a stroll. Leaves it for his defenseman. Tells him, please don't pass it. Take it to the length. Bury the biscuit. I get the assist. Well, not going to happen. A couple of passes later. Patrick's over the red line. Dump it in. Not icing. Yoakum coming out to play it. He just helps it along. Winicky directing traffic there. Nikki turning, wheeling. Leaving it there for Radachenko. Radachenko letting the shot go. That one didn't miss by much. A couple of bodies in front of the eyes of Yoakum. Getting gotten to it and sent all the way down. A nice play there by Holton to win the loose puck and fire it all the way down. 105 left to go in the man advantage. 15 minutes left to go here in the second stanza. 2-1. to one. The Sea captains leading the hat tricks. A real good one here today. A matinee, ladies and gentlemen, which is French for afternoon. On the right wing now. There are the hat tricks protecting the puck. Dennis Radachinko left it. Here's a chance. True between the legs. That one back out for Radachinko. Read like a fine piece of literature there by Bain. Bain pulled down as he was going after the puck. No call. Play allowed to continue. Well, we might get a hooking call there, an interference perhaps against Radachinko, but the refs say play on. Winicky. Cross ice pass. Radachinko kept things on sides. Moran got to it there. He sends it away. Here comes Bain now. Bain in the foot race trying to get to it. Short handed, reaching for it. A nice job there by Brody True to get that puck. Patrick's trying to quickly break out of their own zone. Defense to offense they go, but Messingill thwarted that effort. Here he comes now. Eric Messingill in on the four check. Messingill, such a solid two way defenseman, and that's going to do it with three seconds left to go. On the man advantage. I think it's going to be icing. No, Yoakum went out to play as it's waved off. Oh, went the wrong way with it there. Folletti did a nice job there of anticipating where Yoakum was going to go to it. So we're back to five on five. Betancourt letting the shot go. That went off Messingill on the way in. Messingill didn't get it out. Betancourt with another chance now. 
He slides it over to Hattrick. Let the shot go. That hit a Hattrick on the way in. That hit Martufi. And comes away to center. Sent back in. 13.30 left to go here. And here's Essing. Essing over the blue line. Essing looking for the hat trick. Essing wheeling and dealing. Essing took a big hit there. That's Martufi. Finished his check along the board. Smith pinching in on the back end. There's Essing now behind the net. Essing got it quickly out in front. There's a quick shot. A nice stop there by McGuire. That's creeping down low to get the shot off was Hayden. Bouncing puck along the boards. The hat tricks now trying to get out of their own zone. Hayden pinching in, sensing... A little duress here by the Hattricks, and Hayden causing more duress, getting it in front. Goes right through the goal mouth, hustling over to keep it in. A nice play there by Bagesh. They realize they got the Hattricks running around here a little bit in their own zone, and the bench is further away because it's a second stanza. But the Hattricks weather the storm, get it out to center. Poke checked away. A nice poke check there again by Smith. Smith on the forehand, sends it over for Hayden. Hayden flips it, but not going to get out. As Granacher kept it in. Hattrick's walking off the boards now, trying to get to it. Knocked down quickly, Kinahan. Kinahan back the other way now, Essing. Essing over the red line, cross corner dump in. Fresh captain's hap on the ice for Coach Cunningham. 12 and a half left to go here. Two to one is your score. You're watching Sea Captain's Hockey. I'm your host, Scotty Bonner. Here in the high noon affair, the way John Wayne would have done it. There's a chance now down low, a little bit of a give and go, letting the shot go it was Bagesh, but never got through. Makarinko getting a chuck there, chunk of Filetti as he went by. Getting on the forecheck, corralling the puck. Now his guy, guy walking off the boards, letting the shot go. Doesn't hit a body in front, Loftus. Sending it behind the net, on it. And quickly there is Bear, Bear protecting the puck, Bear. Bear hounded there by a couple of hat tricks. Pinching, trying to keep it in, a nice job to keep it in there. A good play there by McManus as they get it down low. Bouncing puck at the feet there, a Bear, Bear trying to find it. McGuire swiped at it. He couldn't get it. Hattricks trying to come away with it now. Along the right wing boards, can't get it out. Makarenko back for Loftus. Loftus winding, shooting. A lot of traffic there. A nice stop by McGuire as he closed the five hole there. Hattricks, a lot of pressure here. Got it in front. Nice tip by Guy. Excuse me, the captains. Excuse captains with a lot of tra traffic in front. I apologize. Come on, Brain. I don't like you and you don't like me, but we've got to work together. That one cleared away to center, touched on the way out, so no icing. Aggressively in on the four check there is Politis. Taken away by McManus. McManus, though, turned it over. As the Hattricks now look to go to work on the four check. They're digging, they're mucking, they're doing their homework behind the net. Along the boards, letting the shot go. Chance in front of back though. Yoakum getting the flipper on that. A dazzling stop right there. Back the other way, Lotus. Oh, what a stop there by Andrew Yoakum. As he was falling down, managed to get the flipper up and make a big stop right there as the Hattricks were knocking at the door. That's a big time save right there by the netminder Andrew Yoakum. As he was falling down, managed to get that right leg out and make the save. That's a big stop right there, keeping it a one goal lead. For the Norwich Sea Captains. Sea Captains in white, red, and blue. Hattricks in orange, black, and gray, ladies and gentlemen. Trick skating from your right to your left or your left to your right if you're watching it down under in Australia. So George Costanza counterclockwise swirl effect. Bent all the way in now, here's Moran. Moran, again we see the edge work. Quickly changing direction. Here's Holton now, Holton. Sidesteps the check over the blue line. Holton letting the shot go, ends up off the boards and in the corner. On it there, there's Sturgevin. Sturgevin can't get it out. Coming over is Bain. Bain determined to keep the puck in. He's got help there as Goodman. Goodman came over. I wonder if he's related to Saul. Different spelling, though. On it, trying to get it out there was Tamburo. Cross ice pass, a nice job again by Hayden to shut that down in the neutral zone. He does so many little things right there again. Nice play there by big number six. You want your defense aggressive in the neutral zone, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want the other team to dictate and operate. You want to not give them room. Neutral zone is so important. Hayden let the puck run there. The sea captain's on it. They're trying to come away with it. Holton, Holton under the rest there from Radachinko. Side of the net now. Turnover, nice play by True. Got it to Radachinko. Radachinko turning on it. Hayden swallowed him up there and just leaning on him into the boards, not letting him off. That trick's behind the net. Got it back to the blue line. Little bit of room. Letting the shot go. Top of the crease, square to the shooter. 
No rebound there. Andrew Yoakum looking like a black hole light, not even escaping that young man on that shot. 9-14 left to go here. In the second stanza, 2-1 to one the score remains. I'm your host, Scotty Bonner. You're watching Norwich Sea Captain's Hockey. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are dangerously close to Christmas now, ladies and gentlemen. I think about what? What is today, Wednesday? So we're about, are we within 10 days? Yeah, 11 days? Dang. I like it. I like Christmas. Well, Thanksgiving, Christmas kind of guys. They're kind of one big holiday nowadays <laughs> as you get older. Thanksgiving, my daughter's birthday is on November 30th, and then Christmas. It's the old gauntlet, as we call it. Knocked aside there by the sea captains. Here they come now, three on two through the neutral zone. Nice pass ahead. They stay on sides. Drop pass to the trailer, walking in, letting the shot go. A big stop by McGuire. He's not sure where it is. Digging at it, still loose. It pokes loose. As Hamilton was digging there, one of the sea captains. Let's see what happened to him behind the play, but he looks a little bit banged up. Getting back up, I believe that's Peluso. Seems no worse for the wear as he's back up, shaking things off. Let's see here if there's going to be any penalties handed out here. Coach Cunningham lobbying for one. See, captains have yet to be on the power play here this afternoon, I believe. And Barry O for two, no, one for two, excuse me. Now the official over explaining things to coach. I know the coach was satisfied with his ex explanation, but <laughs> few coaches are satisfied with the referee's explanation. That's why when I used to officiate, I would never explain anything. The guy's not going to be happy anyway. Why placate his ego? And I'm not picking on Coach Cunningham in any way. I'd never talk to any coaches. I talk to fans. I like talking to the fans. Knocked down on it there. The sea captain swollen now. Smith. Smith got right back up, protecting the puck. Along the boards now. Trying to get the puck out. Away come the sea captains through the neutral zone. A semi two on one there for a moment. Turned out to be a two on three. As the Hattricks did a nice job on the back check. Here come the Hattricks now through the neutral zone. Saucer pass up ahead now. Corcoran. Corcoran at the dot. Got a man cutting to the cooker. That just failed to click. Pass was a little bit behind Winicky there. Here come the sea captains. Peluso down the left wing. Peluso found it as it bounced right back to him. Now he gets it in deep. Sea captains. And three fresh sea captains out there. As Makarenko now with fresh legs looks to keep it in. Pinching in away to center it goes now. On it there. Couldn't complete the play now. Walking into the forehand. They score. Oleg Igorov. His 10th goal of the season. Number 26 in your scorecard. A little bit of a bouncing puck there at the blue line. Turns in to a goal there for the hat tricks as they get the equalizer with seven minutes and 47 seconds left to go here in the second stanza. Two to two is the score. Just a little bit of trouble with the puck at the blue line. Number 26, Igorov from St. Petersburg, Russia, buries the biscuit there for the hat tricks. So two to two is your score now, just under eight minutes to go. We're back to square one, just about halfway through the affair, a little more than halfway through. We knew this was gonna be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. So nothing in this broadcast is mine, is too unexpected at this point. As it's sent back in, 7.25 remaining here in the second stanza. The middle stanza, Shakespeare's favorite stanza. And there it goes now, one of the hat tricks spilled over the official there, turning it over, letting the quick shot go. McGuire with the save, Makarenko getting to it. Makarenko trying to find it on the backhand, kept it at the blue line, deflected down while McGuire. Makarenko gets back to his feet, pulls the trigger, gets sent down as McGuire makes the save there. Oh, Salva Makarenko getting a couple of shots off. Knocked back down, got back up, knocked back down, got back up. And in between every time, he took a shot. Sounds like me at happy hour back in the day. 7.04 left to go here. In the second stanza, a couple of nice saves there by the net miner McGuire. As the sea captains look to regain the lead. Essing, he's got two here this afternoon. Wins the draw cleanly. Sliding it over Hayden. Hayden steps to his left. He lets the shot go. I don't think McGuire ever saw that one. He reacted late. Sometimes you react to the sound as it goes by. 
Pinching in at the blue line, Kinahan. Kinahan kept it in for Hayden. Hayden protecting the puck. He circles the wagon, lets the shot go. Essing tracks that one down. Essing in the corner, attracting a lot of orange sweaters. Trying to come away with it. But the hat tricks thwarted that effort. Turning on it there is Naffy. Lucas Naffy, ladies and gentlemen, number 16 in your scorecard from Denver, Colorado. I think that's supposed to get like a ridiculous amount of snow out there this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Denver in the Manitoba area. Saskatchewan, if I'm not mistaken. So 624 remaining here. In the second stanza, 2-2 two to two is our score. I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you got this on the laptop at work, and if the boss comes by, you know, you just click the old screensaver. The boss makes his way to the water cooler, you put the game back on. You know, we're only a week away from Christmas. You're not supposed to be productive at this point. At least the boss needs to understand that, especially if there's a hockey game on. But that's just me. You might have one of those bosses that don't understand things, and perhaps you may want to get on indeed, get the resume fired up. Here's a chance now, a glove saved there by McGuire as it bounces away from Kinahan. Nice job by the Captain Beagle. The Regal Beagle carries it out to center looking for Jack Tripper. Here come the hat tricks now over the blue line. Trying to sidestep the check there. Hayden took it away. Once again, another nice play there by Hayden. Here's Kinahan now. Kinahan protecting the puck down the left wing, putting the brakes on. Got it to Hayden. Hayden trying to go back for Kinahan. Kinahan against Beagle. Now it goes back to the blue line, keeping it in. There was Bagesh who's covering the blue line there for Hayden. Hayden says, thanks, buddy. Just says, no problem, I'll go back to playing forward. Here's a chance now walking in Massingill. That one was deflected out of play. A nice deflection there by Lucas Naffy. A two to two is your score, ladies and gentlemen. With five minutes and 32 seconds left to play here. The Norwich Sea Captains and the Danbury Hattricks going at it here today. Like we said, the second place Sea Captains with 31 points. Third place, Danbury Hattricks with 28 points. These two played a couple of days ago. It was a two to nothing victory down in Danbury for the Hattricks. The sea captains looking to get revenge here on home ice today, ladies and gentlemen. Like we said, revenge is a dish that is always best served cold. Just ask Godzilla when he took down King Kong, not once but twice, avenging the 1964 draw. A lot of people say it was a loss. It was not a loss. Godzilla just walked into the ocean. He had enough. It wasn't a loss. If you watch the American version, you, they don't show Godzilla walking in the ocean. You watch the Japanese version, the original one, they do show Godzilla walking into the ocean. And that's the real one. It was a draw. Yes, that's how I saw it. That's how Brent Musburger saw it as well. Get your opinion, and you're entitled to it, as the great Apollo Creed told Brent. Sent all the way down now. On it there, the hat tricks. Down the left wing they go. Sturdivant trying to get it back in front. A nice job there by McManus to eliminate the man. Cleared but not out. Betancourt knocking it down. Betancourt, he's got a goal here today for the Hattricks. He sends it hard around. Loftus couldn't get it out. Loftus digging and mucking, doing their homework in there. Still along the boards there. Hattricks trying to get some fresh legs out there. Looks like we might get a holding call coming up here against Mr. Davant. Mr. Mr. Devant. Mr. Davant. Now that guy is going to be headed to the sin bin. Two minutes for a holding, I believe. Let's see what the official call is here from the official Lemieux. In two minutes. Yes, holding is the call. And to number 18. Kanan Sturdivant from Danbury, Connecticut. Oh, so he didn't go far to play for the Hattricks. The hometown boy. Kind of like that. If I grew up in Danbury, I'd probably play for the Hattricks too if I had the ability. A lot of ifs there. Didn't grow up in Danbury. Didn't have the ability. I'll tell you, if I, if I had those two things, I'd be a hat trick. But that's just me. Cross ice pass now, chance for the hat trick. Essing let the shot go. Oh, nice flipper stopped there by McGuire as he got the right flipper out. So the first power play here in the afternoon for the Sea Captains. Took almost two periods to manifest itself. Makarenko protecting the puck. He's got help. That's Kinahan steered aside. That's a nice save there by McGuire. That's a purposeful save there to kick it and get it over the glass. That's not by accident. That's good goaltending right there. This level, ladies and gentlemen, is nowhere near enough to just stop the puck. You got to make sure you're not leaving the juicy rebounds or no rebounds at all. And right there, the netminder, Ryan McGuire, purposefully steered that one over the glass. A 9.38 save percentage coming into the affair. And that's a 90, 90, almost 94% of the time you don't score on the young lad. So 
300 shots, six will go in. Every 50 shots, three will go in. Every 25 shots, one and a half will go in. Every 12 shots, three quarters of a shot will go in. So basically every 12 shots. 13, really. Maybe 14. Moran keeping the puck in. Got it for Essing. Essing letting the shot go. A can of corn there. A nice glove stop there by Ryan McGuire. Three minutes, 38 seconds left to go here. In the second half, 120 remaining. On the power play. For Norwich. Essing leaning in to take the draw. That's one there by the Hattricks. The Hattricks cleared it and bounces over to Stick of Moran out to center. And Norwich will have to regroup. Over the blue line now, Hayden. Hayden. Down the left wing, puts the brakes on. Hayden met there by Betancourt. Hayden protected the puck for Makarenko. Got it back for Kinahan, back for Makarenko. Makarenko along the boards. Makarenko, nice job to get it out for Moran. 58 seconds to go. Moran sends it down low. Essing, Essing tried to go back door. Did get it there. Makarenko letting the shot go. He scores! Salva Makarenko. A gorgeous pass by Essing from the corner. And Makarenko buries the biscuit there for the hat tricks. A power play goal with three minutes and nine seconds left to go here in the second stanza. The Sea Captains retake the lead. Three to two is your score. Great puck movement there. Makarenko let the shot go. A low laser beam about a foot off the ice. Found the back of the net. Beat McGuire. And Norwich regains the lead. Three to two. Great pass by Essing. So Essing's got two goals and an assist here today, ladies and gentlemen. Glad I got him starting in my fantasy hockey league today. Had a feeling he was going to have a big day. Quick shot. Nice stop there by McGuire. As Jameson Bain got the nice shot off. Bain wearing number 22, Michael Bossy's old number. That pleases the broadcaster. Talk about great goal scorers, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately career was cut short with a career ending back injury just I think he was like 30 years old or something only played like nine years he would have been up around the 800 mark as well if not more much like Alexander Ovechkin so now I think believe just Gordy Howe and Wayne Gretzky above him now well, it's been like that for a while but oh, what an odd hop there off the Zamboni door and on the four check now causing a turnover got a man cutting to the back cooker that was Holton Goodman tried to get it to him there. That one took a very odd hop. Sometimes the Zamboni door not, you know, square. Things can happen. Sent back in by Norwich. And behind the net it goes now. On it there is Martufi. Martufi sends it hard along the glass. Winicky knocked it down. Winicky left it for Peluso. Massengill on the backhand getting it out to center. Two minutes to go now. In the second period, the hat tricks. Is it icing or they didn't gain the blue line? I think it might be icing. Yeah, looks like it's icing. When you see the ref start to take heavy strides back the other way, it's generally icing. There you go. So icing happen when the puck go down. Bang, before the other guy. And my harm come go up. You know the rest of the story, ladies and gentlemen. The great rookie goaltender, Denny Lemieux. I wonder if the ref's related to him. Greatest rookie season ever in the Federal League. Loftus letting the shot go, trying to go for the deflection there. It was Hamilton as he was lurking. McGuire snagged it out of midair. Three to two is the score. The go-ahead goal by Sava Makarenko just a few moments ago on the power play here for the Sea Captains. Norwich looking to extend their lead in second place, pull a little bit further away, recapture those two points that they did not get. Down in Danbury just a couple of short days ago. These two teams going at it again. Loftus has the Hattricks giving chase behind his own net to the forehand. Up for Hamilton. Hamilton knocks it out of midair. Back the other way now quickly. Donzella. Donzella over the blue line. Donzella drop pass. Quick shot. There by Bear. Loftus pinches in. Got it behind the net. Three captains. Still flying by as Peluso was sent down. Back to the blue line. Smith lets the shot go. That hit a body out high. Hattricks get it out to center. See captains regain the blue line. A minute 25 to go now. In the second stanza. Along the boards. Picking it up and setting it hard around Martufi. 
Cleared and kept in. A nice job by Smith to keep the puck in. Hops over the stick of Hamilton and sent all the way in. Danbury recovering there. Last minute to go here. In the second stanza as Hamilton sends it in. You see captains. Get some fresh legs out there for the final minute. Looking for the home run ball. That one misses everybody. That's going to go for icing. So icing has occurred there again with 47.6 seconds left to go here in the second stanza. You're watching Norwich Sea Captain's Hockey here today from the Rose Garden in Norwich, Connecticut, right in the shadows of the Mohegan Sun Casino. I mean, literally, the sun's at a, re a certain angle. The shadow of the casino tower does go over the rink. Norwich Golf Course right across the street from the parking lot. Always like to wander onto there. I think it's like the seventh hole. Of course, I would never do such a thing. Along the boards, pinching in now. Borms, Borms, Bear coming over to help out. 35 seconds to go. Makarenko. Makarenko for the wraparound. Getting the flipper on it there was McGuire. I think the net may have come off its protective moorings that time. As McGuire went crashing into the, the side of it there. Yep, that's the case. We'll see where the faceoff's going to come. I believe it's going to come to the right of the netminder. With exactly 31 seconds left to play here in the second period. A real good one here today in Norwich, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying this one at home half as much as we are enjoying the privilege of being here live to see it. Not even too cold at the rink today. Usually it's a lot colder. The cameraman disagreeing. <laughs> Oh, you got to be here at 8 in the morning for some mites and mimosas. Now, that's cold. <laughs> this guy now letting the shot go. Oh, it could be the 17 layers that I got on. That might have something to do with it as well. I got a T-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a button-down shirt, a pullover, a jacket, three pairs of socks, sweatpants, pants, a hat, a hoodie. Feet are still cold, though, but it's not that bad. It's, it definitely has been colder. This is one of the colder rinks in Connecticut, though. I can tell you that. That is for certain. I've been to many, if not all. This one's right up there. In on Yoakum, bouncing puck. So this period has really slowed down here in the last 30 seconds. A little bit sluggish like a wet sponge. A lot of whistles. And seven seconds left to go now. Norwich with the faceoff deep in their zone. I'm sure that's not where they wanted it right now. Don't want to give anybody an opportunity here just before the intermission. So a big face-off here as Essing, two goals and an assist, leaning in to take it here today. Essing ties his man up, wins the drawer into the corner. Nice job to keep it there by Borms. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, the second period. As the kids call them, I don't know why they call assist apples. I guess because it starts with an A. That always confused me. I am sure you that won't be the last thing that confuses me today. The ref drops the puck, and we are underway. The third period from Norwich, a one-goal affair here. Between the sea captains and the hat tricks. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are in your seat, buckled up, ready to go. This should be a good one. 3-2, to two, Norwich leading over Danbury. It's been a good affair thus far. Both goaltenders have been good. Both teams have been good. Both teams have capitalized on the power play. Two really well-coached teams, you could tell, out there here today. Two evenly matched teams, too, as well as Goodman. Goodman brought the puck across the blue line. Holton couldn't corral it there. As Danbury comes away with it, lining him up there, Moran. Moran ran into true, true storm at the last second and braced himself. Moran was actually a pretty nice guy there, laid up a little bit <laughs> as he was coming in. Could have gotten him a little bit more there, but sometimes you don't want to take the guy's head off, especially this close to the holidays, you know. Here's a turnover now behind it, Hamilton. Cleared and out to center it goes, though. Nice job there by Massingill just to eliminate the player. Let the puck go so Norwich can get possession back the other way. Here's Peluso. Peluso couldn't sidestep the back check there. And Antonio Felitti. On it now, the sea captain sending it down low. Hamilton, Hamilton letting the shot go. That just missed on the waffle side as Hamilton won the battle, got the shot away. Sturdivant couldn't get it out to center. Left there by the net miner, McGuire. Sturdivant couldn't get it out. Again, a nice play there by Smith. Here come the Hattricks now trying to hit the home run ball. That one's knocked aside by Loftus, but on it there is Martufi. Martufi sends it all the way across and ends up all the way back at center, all the way back across the blue line. 
all the way back across the goal line. Behind the net it goes now, so that was very advantageous for the sea captains there as the fresh ice, the puck just kept sliding and sliding and going and going and sliding. So finally it ended up 200 feet away from the sea captain's cooker, which is where you want it at all times, if, if possible. Of course, that's not truly possible in the game of hockey as Joachim plays it out. Felidi in on the forecheck. Loftus going over to get it. Loftus wins the battle. Leaves it there for Bear. Back to the blue line, letting the shot go. Got through Radachinko. Radachinko came into the affair. Tied for first place in scoring on the hat tricks as a defenseman. Tells you a little bit about that young lad's offensive prowess. There it goes behind it. The aforementioned Radachinko helps it along. On there is Norwich, sending it back to the blue line, but nobody home. McManus giving chase. McManus hounded there by Tyler Christian. McManus leaves it there for Hayden. Hayden circles back. Send it over for McManus. McManus lets it run off the end boards. And a nice job there by Norwich to come away to center ice with it. Drop pass for Guy. Guy letting the shot go. Getting the stick in the shooting lane was the captain, Beagle. It goes off the light fixture here at the Rose Garden. Luckily, no bulbs or anything broke because that's always a pleasant delay when the bulbs break and they shatter all over the ice. No delay is really pleasant. I was watching the Zamboni going around because, you know, I like to watch Zambonis. A little bit of trouble rounding the clubhouse turn there at the end. Had to back up a couple of times. There was a big chunk of snow that it left behind, so I was like, oh, no. They had a chance in front there. Went right off the post. As a bizarre play there, chapping at it was Kinahan. And he rang the dinner bell there, but no one was hungry enough to answer the call for supper. Got to wonder what's wrong with Mama's cooking. I bet you a dozen do nuts. Oh, dangerously now in front. A waffle save there by Yoakum. As coming in was a Goroff looking for a second one. The sea captain's got away with a mistake there. Here's Kinahan now. So two odd bounces at both ends of the ice. As Bagesh now letting the shot go. Well, Essing was lurking for the hat trick. Really wants to pick the flavor of ice cream on the way home, does that young lad. All right. Now he scored a lot of hat tricks in soccer. He never scored one in hockey. I tell you, you know you get older, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure if you're tuning in and you're around my age, I'll be 50 in March. I know I sound and look a lot sexier, but I will be 50 in March. You know, you look back on your life and you, you always remember the things that you did wrong. You could do nine and a half things out of ten right, but you remember, you know, I should have never left soccer. I left soccer to play football in 11th grade. And I was a, I was a really good soccer player. I was a terrible football player. I ended up playing football in college, too, for a couple of years. I was just on the team, though. <laughs> just because my roommate was on the team. He was like, you should play football. You're a big guy. I was like, all right. I played for two years, but I hardly ever saw the field, thankfully. I didn't deserve to be out there. I can tell you that. Was, that was what you call a walk-on, walk-on. <laughs> they didn't cut anybody, so I was on the team. I dressed for a few games. Got in on a couple of special teams plays. That was the, I was a terrible football player. I should have never left soccer. I always regretted that. Well, anyway, thanks for listening, ladies and gentlemen. I feel a lot better. Here's Betancourt now. Sliding along for Perkins. Perkins got it out to center. On it there, chipping it ahead there was Gronchar. Gronacher, excuse me. Now low, nice poke checked away there by Essing. As Betancourt was looking for his second one on the season. Kinahan now, nice hands over the red line. Kinahan one on three. Kinahan knifes his way through, slid onto the netminder, Maguire. He covers up and there'll be no further play. 15 minutes, 18 seconds left to go here in the affair. Three to two. The sea captains leading the hat tricks here on home ice. Face off deep in the hat trick zone. Hat tricks in their road orange sweaters. A lot of orange sweaters in the socks. I like it though, it looks good. Numbers look reminiscent of the old San Francisco 49ers Terrell Owens days with the 3D, or you could say, I guess you could say the Rangers 3D effect. I try not to mention that organization. As I am an Islander fan, if you haven't noticed. Played well last night. Lost 4-3 to three to the Bruins in shootouts, but like I said, the 3-on-3 three three in the shootouts, ladies and gentlemen, whatever. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I get it. The fans like it. You know, they don't want the games ending in ties and yada, yada, yada. But it really just means nothing to me. It means something in the standings, though. I would have much rather they got two points last night. But a uh, point up at the whatever they're calling it up there now. It used to be the TD North Gardens. I don't know if it's still called that. I, I had the privilege of going to the Boston Garden before they shut it down. 
Opening day. Let's see. What year was that? I think it was October of 91. Yeah, Pat LaFontaine was holding out. And they went to the game up there. And Derek King scored a hat trick. And the Islanders won, I believe, 4-2, to two, if memory serves. Went there. Went to the old uh, Civic Center for the Whalers. And I did get to go to the, the old Montreal Forum. We took the train up to Montreal. The train broke down. I'll never forget this one. The train broke down about a mile into Canada. I mean, like, broke down. Like, we were there for hours. Lost power, just shut down with freezing. There was, like, 10 feet of snow out there. We went out and played football. They had to go get another locomotive from Montreal to tow us in. And then we broke down. And then they said they couldn't serve us beer anymore. That didn't go over very well. The car packed full of Islander fans had been drinking for a couple of hours already. Or probably about six or seven hours. So we went outside and played football in the snow. That wasn't a good idea because there was no heat in the train. And then about two, three hours later, we were there forever. Finally, another train came and towed us back in. And then Montreal won like 9-1. to one. They absolutely demolished us. But I'll tell you, it's on the old Montreal Forum. You used to stand there, standing room over, and they opened the gates, and you just run with a bunch of crazy French Canadians and find your spot. It was awesome. Best hot dogs in the NHL back there. These the, the bread was buttered on the outside, you know, like a grilled cheese. The hot dog was fried. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. The old Montreal Forum dog. It was delicious. I was very pleased that at least I got to go. I didn't get to Chicago Stadium, though. I would have loved to have gotten to Chicago Stadium and seen the organ with the pipes in the walls. But Got to go to the Boston Garden, Madison Square Garden, Nassau Coliseum, the old Civic Arena, the old Igloo, been there. Montreal Forum, where the Whalers used to play in the mall. Not too shabby. Pretty good. Down the right wing now, winding, shooting the rolling puck, releasing the howitzer there. Well, was Loftus, and I stayed by McGuire. Behind that now, Guy. Guy protecting the puck. Over to help out there's Makarenko. Makarenko won it for Loftus. Back for Makarenko. Makarenko, a quick shot. Flipper save there. Nice shot there by Sava Makarenko. He's got real quick hands, and he gets a hard, heavy shot off with very little time on the release. It's always dangerous if you're a goaltender and the guy's got a quick, hard release like Makarenko does. Causes havoc in between the ears. 13 and a half minutes left to go here. In the second period, you're watching the sea captains. And the hat tricks, ladies and gentlemen, going at it. The sea captains leading it three to two. Another fast paced period thus far. Game's been very fast paced, except for the last 30 seconds of the second period. That took a while. I had the privilege of calling my first basketball game the other night at Con College. Camels took on the uh, Johnson and Wales Wildcats. It was awesome. I loved it. Camels were down by 14 at half. Came all the way back, took the lead, but ended up losing by six. Moran on the clean faceoff win. Dumps it into the corner. Another smart play there. The defensemen are very smart here for the sea captains. They don't try to force the play. If it's not there, it's not there. Just dump it behind the other team's goal line. And now because of the play by Moran, now the faceoff's coming deep. In the Matrix zone. Now they win the face off here, get another opportunity. That's the plan. So a smart play by Moran, ladies and gentlemen, just to dump it in. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds has led two. Now we have this face off because of that decision. It's won by the Hat Tricks. Big defensive face off zone win. Moran pinching in. Kept in at the blue line. Nice job there by Magesh, who was covering for Moran. Danbury. Trying to come away with it now. Turnover at the blue line. Winding. Shooting. Saved by McGuire. This is all because of the smart decision by Moran, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't think I was going to let you forget, did you? Here's a chance now in front. Letting the shot go. A nice stop there by McGuire as Magesh got this a shot away. In the corner now. Danbury finally now coming out of the zone. So all of that because of the good decision by Moran, ladies and gentlemen. That is exactly what we're talking about right there. A perfect example. Of why the little things matter. A little smart play by Moran. They still, Danbury has still not gotten over the red line because of that smart decision by Moran. There they go. Now it's finally comes to an end. That's exactly what we're talking about right there. Nothing going on in the blue line. Dump it in. Down the right wing now quickly with a head of steam, Tamburo. Tamburo tried to hit the trailer. Couldn't connect there. Danbury protecting the puck quickly now. Perkins. Perkins down the right wing. Perkins ran into a couple of sea captains. They got it back. 
Sliding it over quickly there, Radachinko letting the shot go, they score! I'm not sure if Joachim saw it, Radachinko moved the puck over, letting the quick shot go there, Tamboro, Reese Tamboro, he buries the biscuit from Candler, Arizona, ladies and gentlemen, just outside of Phoenix. Wonder if he's a Coyotes fan, that young lad. So with 12 minutes and two seconds left to go here, in the third period, the Hattricks have once again tied it up. Tamburo with the goal this time. I'm not sure that Joachim ever saw it. And a big goal there by Danbury. So three to three is your score, just under 12 minutes to go in the affair. And the second time today that Danbury has come back to tie the game. They let it one to nothing. Made it. Two to one, they made it two to two. Now they made it three to three. A quick wrist shot just missed there. But down the left wing, getting a lot on it. That was Makarinko yet again. Trying to send it down low there was Guy. Comes away to Smith, hops over his stick, rolls out to center. Smith gives chase. Smith on it there. Smith. Left it there for Hayden. Hayden tried to get over. Radachinko didn't allow it. Now back the other way quickly. His Paletti. Paletti letting the shot go. Goes right by the ear hole. Now we see the hat tricks with a little bit of energy ever since they've tied the affair. They're feeling pretty good about themselves in between the years. And that's where it all starts, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to love yourself first. You're the only person that's got to be with you 24 hours a day. So you better enjoy your company. A big hit there along the boards, laying the lumber into him there. It was Radachinko. Interference is the call, though the puck was not there. So the official Lemieux, interference. For Dennis Radachinko, number 11 in your scorecard. Radachinko from Belarus. That's all it says, just Belarus. He's from the whole country. He's headed off to the sin bin now. He's the Belarusian. Oh, no, they say number 12 they got in the sin bin. I thought it was Radachinko with him. Maybe the, hit, maybe the interference was something else. Or two fees in the sin bin. Either way, it's a power play here for Norwich as they look to regain the lead. Nice job to keep it in by Moran as he tips it to Hayden. Hayden sending it from Makarinko back for Hayden. Hayden, nice job to keep that in. Hayden walks down low, tried to go cross ice. Nice stick in the passing lane there by True. Moran for Hayden. Hayden sliding it down low again. We see True breaking it up. Turning on it there is Essing. Essing looking to pull the trigger. Bouncing puck goes right by the post. Makarinko first on it. Back for Hayden. Hayden switches places there, leaves it for Moran. Moran, they keep trying to go back down low. But again, we see True getting a stick in the passing lane. A nice job there by Brody True. Lost the handle on it. It's sent all the way down. A minute 15 to go in the man advantage as Yoakum quickly moves it up from Makarenko. Trying to catch the hat tricks in a player change. Cross ice pass. Right in stride for Kinahan. Kinahan with the drop pass. Essing with the move. Essing walking in, pulling the trigger. A big stop by McGuire. And then Danbury clearing it all the way down. Well, a nice play there by Yoakum to get things started. And then Essing with a golden opportunity there, but McGuire with the save. 50 seconds remaining on the power play. As Radachenko slides it across, it's sent all the way down. Yoakum took a weird hop there for a moment. He sends it hard around. The Hattricks corral the puck there. Danbury setting up in their own zone, trying to come away with it. That's going to go for no icing. As they're shorthanded, I apologize. I was going to say icing there for a second. I was incorrect. Felidi lost the handle on it. Here comes Peluso now. Peluso over the blue line. Peluso with Essing. Peluso sends it down low. McGuire chips it ahead. Norwich gains possession there. Back to the blue line. Kept in Massengill. Now sliding it over. Walking Loftus releasing. Now how it's a tipped in front. They score! I'm not sure if Loftus is going to get credit with it or Peluso. I thought it might have been tipped in front, but it looks like Loftus... He looks like the locomotive on the train here, getting the knuckles from everybody, including the goaltender. A power play goal. And Norwich once again takes the lead back. Four to three is the score. Just seven seconds remaining on the power play. Loftus really leaned into that one. So a huge goal there for Norwich, ladies and gentlemen. As they take the lead back now for the third time today. With just under nine minutes to go. The second power play goal of the afternoon. 
For Norwich, eight, they came into the affair 18th on the power play, operating at 20%. 20.6%, I believe, that they're two for three today, if not they're two for four. Either way, the power play is going to be clicking up because of today's proficiency. I think they're two for three. There's Hayden now, Hayden, sending it in behind the net, on it there, there's Betancourt. Over for Winnicki. Drew trying to get the puck out, Goodman coming over. Goodman, sent it across off a of Holton stick. Danbury, resetting in their own zone now, Corkin. Sending it hard around, here we see the tenacious forecheck stepping up here, the sea captains. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in this broadcaster's humble opinion, that's when they're at their best. And the four check is activated. They don't give room in the neutral zone. Don't back up at the blue line. That's when they're on their A game. They've been on their A game more often than not this season. The very impressive 14, 6, 2, and 1. A record here, ladies and gentlemen. Might as well just say 14, 6, and 3. So only six losses in regulation. And the last one coming just a couple of short days ago. Down in Danbury. 2 to nothing to this very same squad. Comes Hayden now, Hayden. Dumping it in, he'll go for a player change. Holton in on the four check. Into the corner it goes. Chasing him down there, Donzella. Donzella on the back check. Trying to lean into him there, Corcoran. Shrugged off Peluso, that one sent back in by Norwich. Seven and a half minutes left to go here in the affair. Four to three, the sea captain's in the lead. A real good one here today. Danbury. Looking for the equalizer, looking to tie the score for the third time today. Letting the shot go, waffled aside by Yorkham there. As Radachinko got the shot off. It bounces away from Tamburo and out to center. Radachinko now winding, letting it go. Yorkham getting the right flipper on it. Putting the brakes on Moran once again. Showing his edge work. He can really change directions on a dime, can that young lad. Diving at it to get it out of harm's way. A nice play there by Smith. Smith looks like a prize fighter coming out for the 15th round, and he should have been stopped rounds ago, but he made his way to the bench now, walking in, pulling the trigger. That just missed by Tamboro as he was dancing on his skates. Patrick somehow do keep it in. That's not off sides. It did not come out to the neutral zone, I guess I should say. With six and a half minutes left to go now, Betancourt sent it up for Nafi. On the four check now aggressively, Hamilton. Hamilton sending it hard around, Peluso giving chase. Peluso wins it, back for Loftus. Loftus lets the shot go at Hamilton in front. Hamilton, the puck came right to him. Hamilton letting the shot go, can a corn there. For the netminder, Maguire. And six minutes, 10 seconds left to go here in the affair. Sea captain leading this one. Four to three is your score. I am your host, Scotty Bonner. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you and your family are having a great day at home. We're having a great day here at the Rose Garden. When I'm at the arena, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm at the hockey rink or I'm on my couch, the only two places on the planet I feel comfortable. Makarenko took a high hit there from Betancourt along the boards, but the sea captains maintain possession. Hayden winding, shooting. I went off the stick there. Sturdivant looks like we have something going on behind the play here. Let's see. The ref. Sending off Makarenko. Not exactly quite sure what's happening. We'll find out for you. Cross check is the call. No, it's on Betancourt. So Cooper Betancourt now heads to the sin bin. Another power play here for the Sea Captains. A big one as they lead this one four to three. With just under six minutes to play here. A big offensive zone faceoff win back to Moran over for Hayden. Hayden at the dot. Hayden cross ice. Little bit of room now. Pulling the trigger. McGuire looking behind him. Good puck movement there as Essing was looking for the hat trick, ladies and gentlemen. The face off now to the left of the net minder. That's his glove side. He catches conventionally from my perspective. But Di Pietro would disagree. Another face off win is Hayden. Hayden circles the wagons. Hayden sending it down low for Makarenko. Leaves it for Hayden. Back for Makarenko. Makarenko walks to the center for Moran. Makarenko wants it back. This one goes cross ice. Now he's got it back. Makarenko pulls the trigger. Doesn't get through. A nice job there by True, but can't get it out. Stop on Makarenko. Sending it down for Kinahan. Kinahan. 
Got it back. And in. Got a nice win back from Makarenko. Makarenko sliding it over Essing. Essing cross ice pass. C button one tire by Kinahan. That just failed to click. Oh, great puck movement there by Norwich. As Makarenko tracks it down. A minute and, a, and five seconds still remaining on this man advantage. Nice pass over for Makarenko. Let's the shot go. A man in front there. That's big Tim Hayden. Hayden going right to the crease and causing havoc for the netminder. Moran straight away. For Essing, Essing at the dot. Essing walks off, Essing lets the shot go. One hit a body out high as Hayden tracks it down. Still 40 seconds remaining on this power play. Makarenko fakes the shot, leaves it, Essing away. To Moran, the cycling continues. Moran for Hayden. Hayden down the left wing, Hayden. Cross ice pass there, fired it just a little too hard. And finally, the hat tricks can get some fresh legs. Norwich trying to prevent it, but offsides. Is the call there. Well, good puck movement there on the power play by the sea captains. They worked it around and got the C button one time where they were looking for. Now they may not have, they may not have scored there on that sequence, but that's an impressive looking power play, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, there is a coach somewhere in Hickory, Indiana, who was very pleased with the amount of passes we saw there before they shot the puck. Of course, I'm talking about the great Gene Hackman, ladies and gentlemen. The best, best Lex Luthor there ever was. In this broadcaster's humble opinion. Miss Tessbucker. All right, here come the sea captains now. Quickly. Bagesh now walking in, looking to pull the trigger. That went off the defenseman's leg there. As Fancher now doing the old injured flamingo dance. Massengill sliding it across. Letting the quick shot go. Donzalo awful save there. And we're back to five on five hockey. No icing. As it hopped over the stick, Daryl Loftus. 3.45 left to go in the affair. We'll keep an eye on the Danbury goaltender. They're going to be thinking about pulling him in a short while. Here's Donzella now. Donzella walking in. Pulls the trigger right off the butt end. A couple of nice moves there by Angelo Donzella. Stepping in. Protecting the blue line yet again. Smith. Smith. Sending it in on the net minder. McGuire. McGuire leaving it there. For Foncher. I think the net may have come off its protective moorings yet again. Let's see. Uh, not sure what the whistle was for. The linesman pointing to the dot just outside. The blue line, that's Lyman. Lyman, Killahan, and Lemieux. And that's your refing crew here. I think the officials have been very good today. Got to be honest. A lot of times I've done a lot of these NA3HL games. And very little five-on-five -five hockey. Today it's been very good. They've let the boys play. It's been a good, hard, clean game. Still plenty of time left. 3.16 left to go because Stone Cold said so. Sending the puck in just wide to McGuire. Norwich regains the blue line. Behind the net and on the forecheck. A nice job there by Goodman. Goodman's had a real good game. Along the board now, Bain. Digging and mucking Norwich. Just wants to keep it down here at this end and let the clock do what the clock does to everybody except for Homer Simpson, who still is at the tender age of 37. At the center now, stepping up there is Smith. A nice job there by Smith to take the body. Danbury may have wanted a holding call. There is one coming. The ref's arm is in the air. There goes the goaltender, McGuire. So it's going to be a power play coming up for the hat tricks. As soon as it's touched up, there's only two and a half minutes left to go in the affair, ladies and gentlemen. So the drama really beginning to build here at the Rose Garden here today. Two minutes and 23 seconds left. Four to three is the score. The hat tricks are going to be headed to the power play. Smith headed to the sin bin. Let's see, is it holding? Holding is the call by the official Lemieux. So how about this, ladies and gentlemen? The Danbury hat tricks trail by one. Two minutes, 23 seconds left to go in the affair. And they're headed to the power play. The face off deep in the sea captain zone to the right of the netminder, Yoakum. Face-off won by the Sea Captains. A big face-off win there as Bain got to it. Hayden got to it and sends it all the way down. Good thing they didn't pull the goaltender. It was right on net. McGuire leaving it there for Radachenko. Radachenko coming through the neutral zone, stepping to the outside with speed. Radachenko at the dot. Lost the handle on it. Radachenko along the goal line. Sends it back for Tamburo. Tamburo plays catch with True. 
Now True stirred it right away. True slides it down at the dot, pulling the trigger. Big stop there. Yoakum got the glove on it. As Winicki walked in. Circling the wagons now. Tamboro for Winicki. A minute 43 to go. The goalie's still in. A minute 17 on the man advantage. Back to the blue line. Good puck movement here by the Hattricks. Radachinko. Radachinko steps to the outside. He sends it down low. Back to Radachinko. Radachinko plays catch with a Gorev. Now he tries to send it down low. That's read like a fine piece of literature there by Hamilton. And he sends it all the way down. A nice play there by Christopher Hamilton. As Norwich in on the aggressive forecheck. Just a minute 15 to go in the affair. 50 seconds remain in the man advantage for the Hattricks. We'll keep an eye on the goaltender. He's got to be going soon. Over the blue line, Agorev. Agorev lowering the shoulder. Agorev behind the net. There goes the goaltender, ladies and gentlemen. A six on four now with last minute to go. Radachinko straight away, rolling puck, sliding it over, true. The backdoor C button, one time, and they score. Reese Tamboro on a gorgeous tic-tac-toe passing play. Buries the biscuit for the hat tricks. They had the goaltender pulled, so it was a six on four. And with just 54 seconds left to go in the affair, for the fourth time today, this one is all tied up. Now it's four to four. Oh my goodness. Power play goal there for Dan Berry. Great puck movement. Burrow buries the biscuit. So under a minute to play now in regulation. And there will be sudden death or sudden life overtime depending upon who you're rooting for should it go there or who you've got money on, which would be who you're rooting for. There's Kinahan now. Kinahan over the blue line. In the hand, sends it in. Dan Berry rallying the puck there. Good puck movement. Sent out for Winicky. Moran gives him a little shove. No icing as it ends up behind Norwich's net. I'm sure Norwich would like to get the puck out. Doesn't, don't do so, though. Quick shot. Doesn't connect on it now. Winicky. Winicky back for Radachenko. Radachenko slides it over. Kept in at the blue line. Letting the shot go. Bounces away now. Kinahan in a foot race. Radachenko coming over. Bodies go flying air. Picked up by Essing. Essing trying to wheel and deal his way down low. Lost a handle on it. Coming over. Turnover now. Kinahan trying to find it to pull the trigger. He does. A big stop there by McGuire as the buzzer sounds. And this minute's of three on three hockey. Next goal wins. Losers bring the nets in, ladies and gentlemen. The ref drops the puck and overtime is underway here between the Hattricks and the Sea Captains. Here's Makarenko now. A lot of room to operate, but the ice very snowy out there like it was the other night. After I got out of here on the Sunday night game. Chipping it out the center, puck possession here. Absolute paramount as True tried to get it, but Gesh stole the puck, walking in. McGuire making a save. Back the other way now, a two on one. Down the right wing with Hedicin. Walking in, Radachinko slid it across. A big stop by Yoka, get it to it, Radachinko. Pulling the trigger, Yoka made the save again. The rebound gets pushed wide by Radachinko. Oh, two big saves there by Andrew Yoka. Back to the blue line it goes, Winicky. Winicky with all sorts of rooms operate. Radachinko. After that burst there, he might be out of gas. These are for Winicky. Winicky down the left wing. Winicky taking away the real estate there. Nice play by Hayden coming over true, trying to dig it loose. In between the sticks there, in between the skates, excuse me, Bagesh comes away with it. One minute gone. Tried to saucer it there, knocking it down. Looking like a grizzly bear. Pouring out a salmon swimming upstream to spawn there was Radachinko. As Makarenko was sent down by True, let's see, is that going to be a penalty? The ref's got his arms in the air. Is he sending Makarenko to the penalty box? No way. Oh. So they're giving the penalty to Makarenko. Boy, oh, boy, I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I think the officiating has been good all day up until this point. And I don't mean to sound like a homer. Oh, wait, no, True got a penalty as well. Never mind, I'll get off my soapbox. If there's no power play, I never complain. <laughs> if they make it even, they can do whatever they want. All right, so never mind. Refs, refs have been doing a good job all day, and they continue to do a good job. Like I said, I got your back, Lemieux. Don't you worry, pal. We're good to get you a Gatorade after the game there, buddy. Sorry I ever doubted you. All right, so the hat tricks. They win the faceoff. Look to set up shop. 345 left to go here in overtime. Here come the hat tricks now out of their own zone. Almost turned it over at the blue line. Now they do. Essing looking for the hat trick. In the corner is out there with Kinahan. 
And Moran can hear now walking out left it for Essing. Oh, that just failed to click as the net was yawning. Back the other way now quickly. Lost the handle on it there to Degorov. Degorov sending it hard around. One of the hat tricks fell so quickly now. Kinahan up ahead for Essing. Essing with one man to beat. A lot of room. Essing to the outside. Tried to cut back to the inside. A nice defensive play there by Tamboro. Now Tamboro's got the puck. Tamboro away with it. Tamboro down the left wing. Agorev. Agorev all alone as the hat tricks go for a player chase. Agorev with the move to the backhand. A big stop there by Yoakum as he kept the flipper down. Under three minutes to go now. Quickly now, Messingill. The ice is very rough out there at this point, though, ladies and gentlemen. He goes behind the net. Radachinko against Messingill. Messingill digging, mucking, trying to come away with it, trying to win possession for Norwich. He's still digging, still mucking, still doing his homework. Fresh legs out there for the sea captains. As down the right wing comes Makarinko. Makarinko over the blue line. Makarinko with the toe drag. Got it back to the blue line. A little bit of rough room now. Winicky, Winicky letting the shot go. That missed on the glove side. Behind the net. A nice job to win that battle by Bain. See, Captains. Oh, tried to hit the home run ball there as Bain took off. That just missed. A nice defensive play there by Radachinko to grab that puck. Otherwise, Bain is off to the races. Bain now on the forecheck, trying to cause the turnover, causing havoc there as Winicky forced to go back. Nicky on the backhand, got it back out to center. Puck possession there by Martufi. Martufi over for Betancourt. Betancourt over the blue line, a minute 47 to go. Betancourt with a rolling puck. Betancourt behind the net, still with it. Winicky straight away. Winicky set to the outside. Winicky at the dot. Winicky walking in, backhand, forehand, ran out of real estate. He looked up and he was past the goal line. One and a half minutes left to go here. Betancourt takes the drop pass. Now he's got room. Got a man cutting back door. Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold as it slid off the stick there. A Politis as he was cutting to the cooker. 1.15 remaining here in the overtime. Wholesale changes by the sea captains as Kinahan's out there. With Essing and Hayden. Hayden now could get the turnover as they catch... Danbury in a, in a player change. Over the blue line, onside, left it for Essing. Essing softly across. On and now is Jack Kinahan. Kinahan's got Essing. Essing had, he had the trigger pulled. He was ready to sniper it. Under a minute to go now. Yoakum has made a couple of dazzling stops here in the extra stanza. Slides up for Hayden. Hayden dangerously there for Kinahan. Kinahan up for Essing. Essing down the right wing, 38 to go. Essing. On the backhand, lets the shot go. Big stop by McGuire. Back the other way now. Here come the hat tricks. Down the right wing with a head of steam, a two on one. Walking in at the dot, pulling up, letting it go in front, letting the shot go. They score. 